In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the diverse spline meter and the new thickness parameter to create drops around a bottle. To do that, generate a diverse spline meter and draw the spline around the bottle. If there is no diverse domain yet, it will be created. Let's adjust the curve of the spline meter to fit the bottle. By selecting each point of the curve, we set the radius for these points. Adjust the position of the spline according to the bottle. We should set the correct direction for emitting so the fluid can collide with the bottle geometry. To do that, select the control point of the curve and rotate it. Once the spline is defined, connect the geometry with the fluid in the relationship editor. If we simulate now, we see the fluid interact with the geometry. From the display tab, let's increase the diverse particle size to better see the particles in the viewport. Also, let's change the value for the sticky geometry to change the way this geometry affects the fluid when fluid and geometry collide. Now add a gravity daemon and connect it to the diverse domain. Simulate the scene. Adjust the speed of emission as the particles come out too fast. To do that, select the diverse spline emitter and change the speed parameter value. By setting a low speed emission value, the particles will be like pulses. To keep the particles in the bottle, increase the geometry friction value when it collides with the fluid. We can now see how the particles stay longer on the geometry due to friction and slide on it due to the value we indicate for the sticky parameter. Let's increase the diverse domain resolution to add more particles. A new thickness parameter has been added to the real flow spline meter. The thickness parameter adds thickness to the fluid emission on the spline, allowing to emit not only a line of particles. It is advisable to put a K volume to avoid that the particles travel far if they will not form part of the main simulation. In the relationship editor, connect the K volume daemon with the diverse domain and simulate again. The particles look like they are exploding. This is because of the randomness parameter inside the spline meter. If we set this value to zero, the particles come out correctly. As we want to simulate drops in groups of particles, let's add a surface tension daemon to create this effect. Connect the surface tension daemon to the diverse domain in the relationship editor and simulate the scene. See how the surface tension daemon is generating those groups of particles necessary to create the drop effect. Adding a low value for the randomness parameter makes the emission less chaotic. To add a bit more chaos to the simulation, add a noise daemon and connect it to the diverse domain as well. The simulation is better now. Another real flow improvement is where the particles are created. If we increase the thickness parameter value for the spline meter, the particles might be created within the geometry, causing a simulation malfunction. In this new real flow version, in the diverse emitter, the emission mass parameters allow us to decide what we want to do with the particles that are inside the collision geometry, or even with the particles that we manually indicate in from objects. In this way, we avoid possible explosions if there are particles trapped inside the geometry when an emitter starts to emit. Leave the emission mask from collision and simulate again. Now select the emitter spline and duplicate it. 
adjust the new spline emitter to another part of the bottle. Duplicate the spline emitter again to generate a third one and adjust. When we duplicate nodes, they are created together with the connection that is set in the relationship editor. Make sure correctly connected in the relationship editor and simulate again. Adjust the thickness parameter to a lower value to make the fluid collide with the geometry as closely as possible. Let's simulate some frames to generate an initial state of the fluid. Now, stop the simulation and set the emitter speed to zero to stop emitting particles. Once we have the simulation we want, we select the diverse domain and in the Node tab, set the initial state of the fluid. We should also set the reset button, a reset to initial state so that this initial state is always loaded. Let's increase the friction value for the bottle geometry. The fluid falls more slowly and this looks more like what we are looking for. Increase the value of sticky for the bottle geometry a bit more and simulate again. We could also set an animation for when we want the emitters to start or stop emitting. If you set a value for speed for the spline emitters, particles will be constantly falling and colliding with the bottle. So far we have been simulating on CPU. If you have a graphic card with GPU OpenCL or CUDA, you can take advantage of GPU velocity, which will make the simulations much faster. GPU can be activated in the simulation options. Let's generate the preview to see the final result of the simulations. Thank you for watching and enjoy RealFlow!